What's up everybody, welcome to the seventh episode of our new web series. Today we're going to be learning out the four P's of card magic. So for today's video, we're not going to go over techniques, tutorials or anything like that. What we're doing is something called the four P's, which everyone needs to learn for the card magic and other magic. So the first P is preparation. Second P is practice. The third P is patter. And the fourth P is performance. So what do we mean by those? So the first one is preparation. What you have to do is prepare yourself ready to perform some magic. Some of the tricks and techniques that we've been looking at in the previous videos are all very simple. So if you perform those without any sort of storyline or anything like that, a lot of them will be uncovered very easily by your spectators. And we don't want that. We want to make them very magical and special and we need a trick spectators because that's the joy of magic. Seeing a trick done and not knowing how to do it thinking how is that actually done? That's what you want to perform for people. So for preparation if you're going to be doing some tricks even if it's just one trick, two trick or a number of tricks what you want to do is sit down and write the tricks down. So when you're writing them down you can take one trick and you can have 10 different variations of that. So instead of having 10 different tricks that you're going to have to learn and master you can have one trick and with slight changes you can do that into a completely new trick so when you're doing it for someone else and it's much easier that way. Another good thing that you can do is for each trick that you do is sit down and actually prepare a story for it or prepare something which you're going to perform it in a specific way or a specific manner. That way when you're actually performing the trick you know exactly what the story is and how the story goes and how it's co-aligned with the trick itself. Which leads us into our second P which is practice. What you need to do is keep practicing your tricks over and over again. Either practice by yourself, look in a mirror and practice so you can see all the different angles, set up a camera, could be your phone, could be a proper video camera. Set it up, record yourself doing the trick and practice over and over again. Watch it back to see where there's different aspects and elements which you're missing out on. So you might have a flash of a card or something like that. And just watch it back and see where you can prepare yourself and better yourself. So for example, if you're doing your ambitious card and you take the card from the top and you want to place it in the middle of the deck and slide that in, you want their card to be there. If you have your deck face up when you're putting your card in, they can see what card you're putting in and know that it's not their card. So all you have to do, say for example for this one, when I was watching videos back, I could see the flash of the card. So all I do now is take the card, tilt the deck down, put it in, then the spectator can't see what card you're putting in there. So when you lift up that card, they're thinking, well my card just gone in there. So what you're doing is basically tilting the deck forward, taking the card, sliding it in, so the spectator can't get a flash of what card's going in. So they actually believe that that's their card. And then when you take the top card and show them, that's completely blown out of their mind. So different things like that. So for example, when we've been doing the pinky break, if they were to pick a card, and then you write a pinky break. If you're sat like that, showing them the cards, then they're gonna see that you've got a pinky break. So watching back performances that you're performing, you can actually see, seeing, oh, with people standing in front of us, I need to be at this angle so they can't see that pinky break because if I'm stood at this angle then they're going to be able to see it. Because that's the thing with a lot of tricks and the different sort of slides and performances and things like that. It all depends on the angles so the more you practice the better you're going to get at it and like I said if you're filming it the more you practice watching those back you can actually see where the angles are good where the angles are bad. I got into magic a while back and it was when I went to a wedding fair and saw a local magician who we actually booked for our wedding and obviously went on YouTube to see how magic tricks are done because I was blown away of how this was done and when I was online I saw a guy called Chris Ramsey which most of you will already know and obviously there's different tricks that he's teaching the way he's doing it it's very angle specific so for example this one which he says is his favorite card control you take a card you lose it in the deck, you do that, and the card appears at the top. That's very well and good when you're doing it at this angle in front. However, if I was to turn around, I say it's six of hearts here, you lose that in the deck, you can see here, that appears on top. But from this angle, you can actually see what I was doing. So I was taking the card, flipping it up, going under, and back on top. And that's why it appears to practice and record yourself practicing so you can test out different angles and same if you can get a mirror so you can see your reflection in the mirror and see if you're flashing or anything like that. So once you've done your practice it comes to the third P which is patter. So again what I was saying before instead of just doing a card trick not saying much to say right take the card put these cards on oh look your card's flipped over. You need more to it than that you need some patter you need a story you need to sort of get people involved and get them interested in it. So you're doing your prep your practice your patter and now it's time to perform it. 
What I found best when I was doing some performances is someone who's very close to you, so a parent, a brother, a sister, a partner, a friend, someone like that who you can go to and you can do tricks to practice on them. Because it's a lot different than doing a practice in front of a camera than actually performing it for someone, talking to them, doing the whole patter and actually trying to do the slides exactly right on so you don't flash or you don't spoil it or you don't ruin the trick or anything like that. So what I found best is just sort of performing with them, trying to do tricks and going from there. Then what you can do is once you've performed a couple of times for friends, you can go out further and perform for other friends. Another quite handy thing is when you're shooting videos for you to practice with so you can watch it, upload to Instagram, YouTube, whatever you want and try to get feedback from people. So you can say, I've just uploaded this, what do you think of the video? I found it's much easier to sort of grow like that as a magician when you're posting a video, asking for tips, tricks and see if people like it or don't like it, then you can improve it rather than thinking, I've created this, this is fucking awesome, this is staying. Because at the end of the day, it's not gonna be awesome all the time. Sometimes it's gonna be a bit shit, sometimes it's gonna be great, but you don't know that until people have seen it and ask for constructive criticism on it rather than just asking someone to knock it down and say, nah, that's shit. That's the four Ps that I like to follow with magic and it's helped me quite a lot just to get an understanding of the card tricks and obviously the stories behind it and improve myself as a magician when I perform for other people. I hope you've been enjoying the web series and been watching all the seven episodes. If not, there's a, a playlist with them all together and obviously when we do create more new videos, we'll be putting them in the playlist so you can go in there and find basics of cards and different magic tricks. If you haven't subscribed to the channel yet, click on the subscribe button, click on the bell icon so you can be subscribed and get notifications of whenever we upload new videos. Hope you enjoyed the series and if there's anything else that you want to learn or see in a future video for the series, drop a comment below and we'll get that shot. And until next time, see ya.